Hey, this is Terratoots with a quick introduction to creating a basic mountain in Terrigen 4. One of the first things many people want to make in Terrigen is a nice big mountain. So today we're going to walk through the process of building the mountain in this mountain scene. There are several methods to create mountain shapes, including building mountains in other terrain software and rendering them in Terrigen, but today we'll be focusing on a primarily Terrigen workflow. To start out, let's break down the layers I've used to create this scene. First, the terrain. In this scene, I've left the default terrain enabled, and added an alpine fractal shader on top to create the large mountain shapes. I've eroded the terrain, then added another fine detail displacement layer on top of that. For color, we start with the base color layer, and add several different gray and brown layers for stone and dirt. A white snow layer drapes over the whole thing. Let's start with the terrain. In our default scene, the first thing we're going to do is flatten the default terrain shader down into some rolling hills so that it doesn't make our new mountains too spiky. We'll increase the feature scale to 8000 and reduce the displacement to 500. Next, we'll add a new alpine fractal terrain layer. We want some striking mountains, so let's increase the displacement amplitude to 4000. And in the Settings tab, we'll increase the stretch factor a little bit, just to 3.225, and turn Light Deposition up to 0.85. Next, we'll mask this terrain by the simple shape shader that comes with the default scene. And we're going to invert this mask to create a clear area around the starting location. This is so we can see what's going on. Next, we need to pick a mountain. This can be tricky with the 3D preview constantly rendering every time we move the camera. One trick to help with this is to come into the Cameras tab and create a second camera. Change it to Orthographic and position it high overhead, looking straight down. We'll also use a very large ortho width so we can get a good overview of the surrounding terrain. Change the view to use our new camera, set the 3D preview to HD, and let it render out the landscape. Once the terrain is calculated, pause the 3D preview and change the view back to our render camera. Now we can move around our landscape without constantly re-rendering and get a better look at our mountains. This one looks promising, so let's unpause the preview and copy our render camera to this view. Now that we've picked a mountain, let's add some erosion to it. I'm going to be using a third-party plugin called Classic Erosion for this, which can be obtained from this website. Once it's installed, apply it as a new terrain layer by choosing Classic Erosion under Displacement Shaders. Let's center the erosion map on our mountain by copying a position near the top of the mountain and pasting it into the Height Map Position field. For this scene, I left most of the settings of their defaults, but I slightly increased Down Cutting and checked the Render Original HF Details, which will bring back some of the smaller details in the original terrain surface after erosion. Now we're ready to click the Erode button. Once the calculation is complete, we can check the shader preview to ensure the new height map is covering the area we want. If we zoom out here, we can see that it is indeed covering our mountain. If we look at a before and after rendering of our terrain, we can see that the erosion has smoothed out some sections of the mountain, which is really going to help our snow distribution when we lay down our textures. The final terrain layer we're going to add is a light power fractal layer to add a bit of detail on some of the upper ridges. We'll change the feature scale to 5, the lead-in scale to 10, and set the Y component of the noise stretch to 10. We'll change the displacement to a vertical only, and set it to 10 meters, as well as change the noise flavor to ridges. 
This should give us some light, thin vertical streaking on the terrain. To confine this to the ridge faces, we'll mask this by a new distribution shader. And limit the minimum slope to 70 degrees with a 10 degree fuzzy zone. We'll also limit the minimum altitude to 200 meters. This finishes out the base terrain for our mountain. In the next video, we'll cover adding shaders and populations to add some color to our landscape.